I'm gonna go. Hey, you're the first serious gamer I've seen all morning. Check out this brand new AAA first person shooter that's totally updated from the last shooter six months ago. Wow! What's this one? Oh, that's Sonic Mania Plus from Sega. But they don't even use guns. Hey, look at this intense over the top violence. I heard that one's the highest rated Sonic game in 15 years, and that game cover's amazing. So shiny and holographic. Man, if you haven't seen the new Sonic Mania Plus ad, please uh, go watch the full thing after after this video, not yet. Uh, but yeah, that was a great throwback commercial and echoes a lot of my thoughts on the current climate of the gaming industry. Thought it was fantastic. Uh, so I already did a video gushing over Sonic Mania and now thanks to Sonic Mania Plus, I get to do it all over again. If you're not aware, saying Sonic has been mishandled over the last, I don't know, over a decade at this point, would be an understatement. Very little has come out of the Sonic brand recently, uh, besides it being, you know, a meme generator on Twitter. There's been some, uh, some decent games, some good games, but even they have been few and far between. Then Sonic Mania came along, bringing the series back to its roots, uh, like way back to its roots, uh, so far back that when you look at the game, it looks like you're playing an original Sonic game on the Genesis. And when you know it, people loved it, it reviewed well, sold well, the whole deal. So with this series not really having a hit in a long time, what do you do to follow up on this newfound success? Well, this is the modern video game industry. You sell the same game again, obviously. Now I gotta give props to the new physical version of this game. For 30 bucks, a slipcase that is so beautiful, it's it's almost blinding, or you know, that might just be the way the light hits it. And this Sega Genesis reversible box art. My god, is this awesome. Uh, to be clear, this is the reverse art, so you'll have to, you know, pull it out and flip it over, but I mean, how cool is that with all the Genesis logos on it? And you get an art book on top of all of it. Again, really solid value for the price. Now let's talk about what's so plus about Sonic Mania Plus. What's new? This version adds two fan favorite playable characters, Ray the Flying Squirrel and Mighty the Armadillo. Yeah, I had no idea who these geeks were either. Great choices over an I don't know, a Shadow or Amy. How about Cream? Hmm? When's Cream gonna get some love? I mean, if we're scraping the bottom of the barrel this hard, Call up Big the Cat, and let's link this sucker up with the Fishing Pole Labo Kit. Tell me you wouldn't play that. Unfortunately, we're stuck with these nerds. So Ray, the Flying Squirrel, no surprise, he flies. Uh, his flying mechanic is sort of reminiscent of the cape in Super Mario World. You do a similar, you know, up and down motion to maintain height. It's fun enough, but mighty. Has this ground pound? I don't know if it's actually really that viable. In this sort of game, I don't think it's really going to do much for you to help your overall time. Uh, and I, I don't even know if it makes much sense. Like, it screws me up typically more than anything. You know, I'll accidentally hit it mid-jump and just drive myself right down into the spikes. But damn, when you hit guys with this or use it to springboard yourself on a jump, it, it just it feels good. Probably not an optimal strategy. I can get totally sidetracked uh, trying to get in position to slam on enemies when I could just jump on or into them more efficiently most of the time, but it's worth it for that satisfaction of completely crushing them. I mean, it feels so heavy, it's it's great. There's also the new Encore mode, which offers sort of uh, remixed versions of the game's original stages, as well as a four-player competitive mode, a uh, race-type deal, which is split-screen. Uh, if you're not aware, I wanna make that clear for people who don't know, this isn't some kind of same-screen cluster uh, that can happen some of the time in the multiplayer of uh, these side-scrolling platformers. And it is actually pretty fun if you have friends to race against. This whole game, obviously, is still awesome. Like, if you held out and didn't buy it during the original release, this is uh, the perfect time to jump in, especially if you're a physical collector. I know with a lot of these digital releases, there are many who hold out for the possible physical release. Like I said, the package you get for 30 is great, uh, 30 US. A cool slipcase, phenomenal reversible cover, plus the art book. And if you did throw down for the original and you just want these plus goodies, uh, the plus version as DLC is five bucks across the board, I believe, 
which I think is totally worth it for what you get. Two characters. I know I was I picked on them. They're fun. Uh, the encore mode and the multiplayer. So if you're in either camp, I still highly recommend this game. Going forward, like I said in my original review for this title, I hope Sega realizes that this is the direction Sonic needs to go. You know, just just fu making fun games. I don't think you need to stick with the super retro look approach, even uh, the 2D side scrolling. Uh, I think a more modern Sonic, even a 3D one, can actually be done. It can be done right and be a good game. I think some of the 3D Sonics were good, actually. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on the GameCube was one of my favorite games on that system. Uh, while it maybe hasn't aged the best, uh, I think it was great during its time. And you can take the games that were good and kind of, you know, build off and improve on them. Like they did with Mania. Not every 2D Sonic has been great, but the gameplay in Mania, they got it down just right. Uh, about as good as you can get it. You make something where, of course, you gotta go fast. Uh, but there's more to it than that. These games, when they're done right, they're not just a running simulator. You don't just hold forward and the game plays itself. They are platformers where you run. With the amount of fanfare this iteration of Sonic has received, there's no reason they can't build on this and bring Sonic back to higher relevancy. Will he ever be as big as he was in the 90s? Probably not. But that doesn't mean you can't treat him like he is. And with that, this video's a wrap. Let me know your thoughts on Sonic Mania Plus in the comments. As always, I'm John Zakari, and thanks for watching.